I am so excited for today's video. Why you ask? Well, because this is something that I was going to do anyways today and I thought, you know what? Let me take you with me while I automate my life, AKA my chaotic, very messy computer. And don't lie, don't look at me like, oh, your computer is not messy or maybe it Maybe it's just me. Anyways, today we are going to automate our lives, our computers, by organizing our desktop, our documents. <gasps> it looks so much better. I'm so happy. Isn't this amazing? Videos, music, images, all into beautiful folders. And this is something that if your screen or your desktop looks something like this, like mine does typically, it will then get all organized. What we will do is we will identify different extensions for different files and put them into different folders. And we're gonna do this all automatically, thanks to the magic of Python. Now, if you've been around on this channel for a while, you know I started with JavaScript. I mean, I've worked many years professionally using JavaScript, it's, it's amazing. Lately though, for the past year and a half, especially because of AI and machine learning with my night course that I'm taking for it, we use Python. I've been really loving Python, how you can automate different things with it, you can build so many different things with it. It's one of these languages where, whether you are a web developer or you want to get into the AI ML space, yes, there's a lot of other languages to learn in that space too, I'm not taking away from that, but it's such a great place to start and it's so in demand. So if you are someone who is senior in your career watching this, junior, pick up Python. It's not going anywhere. Even if you're not a developer, it is so key to learn. All right, now that I got my spiel in, let's go build. Oh, also, I gotta say, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more tech, coding, future tech, AI related videos. I also shared down in the comments, what I'm gonna start doing is I shared down in the comments some other video topics that I want you to go and vote on. What do you want to see on this channel? Let me know. All right, now let's go. All right, you can see open, we have, you can see we have open VS Code here. And I'm starting by importing two different modules, one being OS and the other being shuttle. Shuttle, shuttle, shuttle. Uh, I, I, maybe I don't know how to pronounce it, but that doesn't matter because what I do know is how it works. So OS is obviously for our operating system to be able to, to access file and directories. And then shuttle is for file movement because that's what we're doing. We're shuttling things around. Is that how they came up with the name? It makes sense to me. Next up, we are defining our directory. So this is kind of cool. This once again, maybe makes me sound very silly, but you learn new things every day, no matter how long you've been building for. And this way, what I did is I was trying to do, you know, I was trying to define my directory by the standard, you know, okay, my path to my directory, where is my desktop? Um, which is pretty straightforward, but just hear me out here. And I was doing some reading and I found out about path uh, expanded Banducer, which is really cool because literally you can type in wherever you want, whatever file you want or document you want to get to, whether it be desktop, whether it be your documents, whatever the case is, and you don't have to define the path. It will do it for you, which is super nice. All right, let's keep on going here. Next up, let's define what extensions we want to go into what folder. Now it's important to note these folders have to already exist. We're not going to, in this program, uh, create folders from scratch. So make sure they already exist. And I've done this for my desktop already when I was testing this out. So actually I'm gonna do this for documents. But wherever you want to tidy up your computer, just type it in there, it's that simple. All right, next up, I defined my extensions here. This once again, you can do to whatever kind of different extensions you use often. Um, you know, one, I don't really need AVI actually for videos. I should probably have for videos though, I should probably have .mov, because I use that a lot. Come on, .mov videos. I think I got it all covered, but once again, whatever you have. This, I can't even tell you, is such a simple script to write, but it really does automate your life in the sense it will make it so much more easier you have way less of a headache and it just it just works it's like magic like duh. okay keep on going tip i'm getting too excited here next up what you will need to do is loop over every file name in the directory so make sure to go through every file in the directory and then define the file path which is going to be the directory that's up here so in documents and then the file name for over here, we are making sure it is a file, not necessarily a directory per se. Then from there, we are splitting the text. So we're taking the file name, making everything lowercase. 
This is why I'm getting so... Come on. Come on, Nate, stop. Okay, so we're checking for the extension by splitting the, taking out the extension and making it lowercase to make sure that none are missed if they're capitalized, etc. So if the extension is in extensions, which once again, you can add in as many different extensions as you want. This is just some to start with. What we will do is we'll make a folder path that will join the directory and the folder name. So then we are using make dirs, which is make directory, make a new directory with a folder path. And if it exists, make it true. So although earlier I said, if the directory doesn't exist, we aren't going to be doing that in this script. I, I did add before I started filming, I forgot actually the make directory. So I do actually in this case, this is good because let me go find her in my documents. You're seeing all of my documents. Um, you will see that I don't have these documents yet, these folders. So this is good. So next what I will do is let's keep on going down because then we can confirm that it actually makes these folders. Cause when I did this for my desktop, I already made the folders because I didn't add that in, but this is what happens when you haven't had enough coffee in the morning and people are drilling. There's like a literal construction site going on right now. I've had to refilm this video so many times um, outside my house. And then of course, just some user-friendly code. So move file name, add, skip file name, etc. So this is super easy. Let me to show you the full code here. Once again, importing two modules, defining a directory, defining extensions, and then looping over the files basically, and then doing some if statements. Super easy, but super powerful. So let's go ahead and see what is the end result. Run Python in terminal. Okay, it says it's complete. There's a lot that was moved and changed. So let's see. <gasps> it looks so much better. I'm so happy. Isn't this amazing? Videos, music, images, documents. I should make one actually. Let's make one right now for our dot, uh, for our Premiere Pro. So dot PR, P-R-O-J. I have the worst eyes, P-R-O-J, okay. Let's go back here. So you can literally, this is something you can use all the time for different kind of extensions, keeping yourself organized, um, Premiere Pro. And also, it's so easy to use. Like just have this script on your computer, update it, run it, what, whenever you want. All right, let's see. This is amazing. There's a few other ones, but it's so much more organized now. I can't even believe it. Anyways, this is super simple, super fun, but it has a big impact. Okay, we have officially automated, well, our files anyways, our file systems. This is super handy. I'm going to keep this script on hand actually on my desktop, organized that is, and I'd highly suggest for you to do the same. So as you see, you know, your files starting to get chaotic again, you can simply run this or just add in an extension like we did. It's so easy, so user-friendly. Thank you all for watching. Leave in the comments, what other videos do you want to see? This is why I make these videos is to connect with you all to learn what you want to build, what you, you want to learn, all of that great stuff. Anyways, I need more coffee. It's really early in the morning here. I need to get more. Thanks all, bye.